Hey Sam here, I want to give you a quick uh, sneak peek and what we've been working on with Canvas for iOS. Uh, so let me sign in and we'll get going. So here's my list of organizations. If you're not familiar with Canvas, um, it's a way to collaborate with others um, in real time uh, on whatever you want. Um, so you can make an organization or you can have your personal notes, whatever. Um, I'll just go into this demo organization and make a new one to uh, show off some things. So um, this is a demo and I can type here, whatever, not that exciting. Um, but you can type Markdown, and to me that is immensely exciting because I really like Markdown. Um, I can say, this is italic, and it's italic. And it, notice it colors like the asterisk gray and the thing's italic, and um, very cool. So what's really exciting is if I type period or whatever other character, um, they go away, which is exciting. Um, if I move my cursor to the left, then they come back. And if I leave this word, then they go away again. Um, to me, that's really cool because you don't need like a preview of your markdown. This is like what it looks like. Uh, and if you want to edit it, you can just do that and it comes back. So super cool. Um, this is great with links, uh, especially if you have like a really long link. Um, this isn't a long link, but you get the idea. Um, it gets small. And see, it was like multiple lines and now it goes away. Um, I was working on a document recently that had a bunch of Google Maps links that are like super huge. Uh, and on iPhone, it would be like unreadable. And now they like shrink down to, you know, whatever you want. Super neat. Um, you know, you can do bold, inline code, like whatever you want. Um, so that's pretty cool. The way we do block level elements is really interesting, I think, because it's not actual markdown, it's just markdown inspired. And at first, to me, that's like, oh, like I'm a Markdown purist. I want it to be like the way Groover intended. Um, but the way we do it, I think, is actually a really neat compromise. It makes it a lot more understandable for normal people. Um, so you can make a list just like dash space, hello, you can list, whatever. But this isn't like folding or whatever. It is just a list, and it can delete here and whatever. Very similar to how like notes would do it or pages or something. Um, so that's neat, but you can do other things. So here's what I have to do. And I can say make a list and I can make a checklist like the GitHub style syntax, call mom. Um, so that's neat and I can check it off. Um, and you can use gestures to do this. I demoed this briefly, but I'll, I'll uh, very excited to show you. So um, more stuff. I should eat healthy and buy a boat. So I can swipe this to the right and it turns into a checklist, which is pretty neat. And I can swipe it again and now it's a bulleted list and like indent it. Um, and so that's pretty neat. Um, and you can do all kinds of things. So like this is a block quote. Boom. Um, it, code, like, whatever you want. Um, headers are pretty neat, so heading stuff. And notice headings fold, and you can change the level just by typing more, which is kind of cool. So um, they're actually really useful to have editable, like, markdown. Whereas a block quote, you're not going to change, like, the bracket. It's like, always the same. Um, this also doesn't support, like, nested blocks, so you can't have a list inside a block quote. Um, which at first is like, man, I wish I could do that. But it's like, in reality, I don't actually ever do that. And it makes it like so much more straightforward to explain to people. Um, and you don't get like really crazy stuff that's not super useful. So the whole point of like Markdown inspired stuff is it, it helps you focus on the content and not like tons of formatting, like, you know, Microsoft Word or something. Um, so really exciting. One other thing I really want to show you, if I open up, uh, Safari here. Uh, here's this canvas we just made. And I can type right here, which is really exciting. So that's super cool. I can even check this checkbox or uncheck this one over here. And it's all live. Um, I've never really experienced this on mobile before, but doing it on like an iPad in a meeting or even my phone while someone else is on the desktop typing away or um, it's, it's really amazing to experience. Um, and then hopefully, as you can imagine, like doing all of this crazy markdown stuff and the more hybrid, like 
fancy block elements plus real time is just crazy plus to work on like huge documents um took a lot of time so um this is why it's been taking so long to make canvas for ios um but i'm really excited to release it uh, it's getting very close a lot of the tech stuff is, is really coming along um so hopefully there'll be more soonish um you can go to usecanvas.com and make an account if you don't have one um and i'll definitely be posting on twitter and whatnot um as we get closer to launch so thanks for watching